In this example, we'll solve exponential equations, writing answers in exact form. Now, when we solve exponential equations, there is a basic strategy. I circle it over here. If I can get my equation to be in the form of a base raised to an exponent equals that same base raised to another exponent, I can use the one-to-one -one property and set those exponents equal to each other and solve for there. Alternatively, if I can get the equation to be in this form where I have a base raised to an exponent equal to some expression that doesn't contain my variable, then I can use the relationships between exponential equations and log equations and rewrite this as a log equation and then solve for this presentation. When I look at example A, I see I have base six raised to a variety of exponents. I also have a product of expressions in my numerator and a quotient of expressions. So I can use the product and quotient exponent rules to help me simplify. First, looking at the numerator, I can rewrite this using the product rule of six to the two x plus three x plus eight. I've added my exponents. I'll still divide by six to the x plus one and write the 36 on the other side. Now I use the quotient rule to obtain six, two x plus three x is five x plus eight. I'm going to subtract my exponents. So I have minus x plus one in parentheses so that I remember to subtract. And finally, combining things, five x minus x is four x and eight minus one is seven. So I have six to the four x plus seven. I'll rewrite 36 as six squared. And then I can take my exponents using this strategy of the one-to-one -one property and rewrite it as four x plus seven is equal to two. From here, solving for x, I obtain four x equals negative five. And finally, x is equal to negative five fourths. Moving on to B, I say I have the exact same left-hand side as in A, so I can simplify it in the same way, obtaining six to the four X plus seven is equal to 37. Now, I'm not in the case where I'd be able to use the one-to-one -one property, but I can use the relationships between exponents and logs. I could either simply rewrite this as the corresponding log equation or to show an alternate approach, I'll take log base six of both sides. From here, log base six of an expression, which is base six, is going to be the exponent four X plus seven. And this equals log base six of 37. And from here, solving for X, I obtain four X is equal to log base six of 37 then subtract seven, and now I divide by four. And this is the solution to the equation in part B.